candidate for governor in the great state of West Virginia, Senator Bill Cole. Senator, good morning. How are you? Good morning to you. I you okay? Be you all right? Absolutely. Hey, listen, you know, the only problem we got is 60 days isn't enough. Give me another 30 or 45. I'm, I don't know. I'm, now, I'm wait good now, to go. Now, wait, okay, but it, sometimes, you know, you're a Republican. Don't, we don't necessarily need more government. I mean, if you can't get it done in 60 days, maybe we shouldn't do it. Well, we're trying I'm, to make up for a lot of bad government over the last year. So, you know, we, we still got some work to do. Let me hit you on some things. Yesterday, right. the Senate, let's just run through some topics. Yesterday, the Senate approved a bipartisan vote raising the tax on cigarettes uh, from 40 from 45 cents to I'm sorry from 55 cents to a dollar 55 a one dollar increase it passed with bipartisan support it goes to the house this would uh, deal with the state's budgetary problems uh, and also for this fiscal year and next fiscal year and also deal with some of the PEI issues you vote against it why well okay so there's a, a few parts of, okay. of the why number one I appreciate how politically the other side wants to frame everything around. Let me let me attach it to PEIA or to the roads or whatever. Uh, PEIA is fully funded. It's fully funded in the budget that will come out of the Senate, period. So we don't need to assign special funding to handle it. It'll it'll be done. Can I interrupt you just a second? I mean, Please. it's in the budget it's that PEIA will be now. funded. But the, ma but the issue is finding the money to put in the budget to take care of that, correct? Well, or finding enough places to cut okay. to make it. Okay. But, but yes, you're right. right. Okay. All right. All right. So our intention certainly is fully funded. We will fully fund PEIA, period. All right. As far as a dollar goes, uh, the whole idea that a dollar actually brings additional revenue is, is, is false. If you go right now, Virginia and Kentucky are already under us. So right. we, we lose business in the southern part of the state to Virginia and Kentucky for, for cigarette purchases. In the northern part, when you have Ohio and PA, they're substantially above us. And so we have a lot of people coming into the state buying cigarettes. All right. If we raise it a dollar, then we're then we're parity. We're at parity with those two states, and people are going to quit coming in and buying. They're just going to quit coming buying their cigarettes here because why would you drive into another state when you're not going to save any money? So not only is it not going to generate additional revenue, it's going to kill our retailers in the northern half of the state. Well, it's going to, the argument is, Senator, that it's going to generate some. I mean, some people will make the decision not to cross the border, Kentucky or, well, they already stay, I guess, in Kentucky and Virginia because the tax is lower. But you're not going to erase, the projection is it'll raise another $115 million annually. But you're not going to erase that entire increase. I mean, you're going to get some increase. There's going to be diminishing returns, but you're going to get some increase. I, you know, I, I tell you what, I, I, let's see, the people, the same people that said that 120 million extra would come in for the dollar are the same people that said we had 4.3 billion dollars in general revenue this year and they only missed it by 400 million. So you don't believe the numbers? I don't believe it at all. Would and, you, would you? and you're going to kill our retailers in the northern half of the state. So what, what value does that bring or, or actually cause, you know, in lost revenue? Would you support a, would you, have, and it goes to the House, it's going to be very difficult for the House uh, to pass a, a one dollar increase in the cigarette tax, they might come up with it with a uh, forty five cent increase to make it an even dollar. Would you support that? I will. Uh, I, I do believe that we have a responsibility to to uh, look at the revenue measures that we can. We know that we're in a budget crisis, and and I'll and I I would favorably consider the forty five cents. No more. I think that's the sweet spot. I think the governor got it exactly right when he su suggested forty five cents. Mm -hmm. I, I I think that we'll still have people come across the border to save the fifty cents a pack, and and you know, and, and then we can go to the health issue. You say, well, if if we raise it a dollar few people will quit smoking. Well, if that's the case, let's just raise it $5 or $10. I mean, so I, you know, I really, I think 45 cents is a sweet spot. Hopefully sending a, a dollar down to the house gives them some negotiating room where maybe they needed it to come up with a 45 cent uh, answer. We'll see. Senator President Bill Cole is with us. So you referenced the budget there, and clearly the issue here, the biggest issue, and there's other stuff, but the biggest issue is trying to uh, make sure that the hole in this year's budget is filled and next year's budget is balanced. Probably going to be an increase in the cigarette tax, maybe a 45 cents, uh, maybe a dollar, but then you got to cut somewhere. So what are the cuts going to look like? Well, uh, they're, they're going to be brutal. I mean, it's tough. Brutal. We're, I, I, I can't come up with a, another word now. Uh, you know, the governor, again, he's put another $4.3 billion revenue estimate when 
you know, based on what's happening this year, 3.9 billion might have been the better number to pick. Uh, and some of that's predicated on tax increases that just aren't going to happen. It's, it's easy for us as a legislature to say, no new taxes. But then we can't stop there. We have to come up with the answers, and and we're working hard, both both sides. I, I got a hats off to Mike Hall and to Eric Nelson for the work the that they are doing. The finance chair, Hall, the Senate, Nelson in the House. Yeah, they're 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 doing a great job. But uh, I'll tell you what, it's 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 going to be a tough one. We the the bottom line is, is we got to put West Virginians to work. We got to get some. The, the revenue measures need to be that people are paying taxes in this state because they're working. What what happened to comprehensive tax reform, which was talked about during the off session, and I didn't hear much about it. I wrote about it today. I mean, and you're a business guy. You know the issues with the tax code. You know that there are 80 or 90 exemptions to the sales tax in West Virginia. You know the tax code is antiquated. Was there just not time or momentum to take a comprehensive look? at tax reform and say, let's make it fairer, make the rates lower, let's modernize it. What happened to that? Well, what happened to it was we, we, we agreed to take it up and study it through interim. So, so all the way through the beginning of fiscal year 16, through the summer and the fall, we, we studied it. And, and I thought we'd made good headway at figuring out some areas where there's problems and areas that we could work on. Uh, but then at the end of the first fiscal quarter, you know, in, in, I don't know, September, October sometime, the governor invites us downstairs to say we're going to be $250 million short on this year's budget. Then by mid-year, it's $353 million, and, and I don't think there's any wiggle room to be going after much in our tax code right now. Because if we do it, I don't think we can just take uh, somebody's word that, well, if we do this, then then the, the you know this is going to be the result of it. I think we need to have some money in our hip pocket in case we make a little bit of a mistake. I don't want to go down a road Kansas went down. Yeah. I mean, they just assumed all the numbers that had, were being fed to them were good numbers, and then they in reality, down. yeah. Yeah. Senator Bill Cole is with us, also Republican candidate for governor in the state of West Virginia, Republican from um, Mercer County. The, the Religious Restoration Freedom Act, that legislation passed the House with bipartisan support, had more than 70 votes. And the proponents say it is needed to protect religious liberty of West Virginians who have uh, deeply held faith. Opponents say, no, this is a road to bigotry toward the gay and lesbian community. The business community is very nervous about that. They think it'll send a bad message to the gay and lesbian community, not only in West Virginia, but across the country. The bill is now before the Senate. It's going to come up in committee, I think, tomorrow. Are you for or against that bill? Poppy, let me, let me first start by saying I'm uh, in my businesses, and I have over 400 employees. We we absolutely don't we don't allow any discrimination. Do you have non-discrimination policies? We absolutely against do. Against gays and lesbians. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, race, creed, color, religion, uh, sexual orientation, all of it is covered. We 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 will not put up with any any uh, any nonsense along those lines. Uh, so, so uh, you know, so I think you can you can understand where my heart is in that. Um, Hoppy, I've had my hands full. I mean, truly, we're we're working from early to late every single day. Uh, that bill's Saturday, down here. Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Uh, that bill's down here now. Uh, my understanding is that is the Chairman Trump is going to take that up with the with the various stakeholders, see if they can find a, anywhere that they can begin to agree. And if they can, then we'll advance. I would expect that bill to advance out of Senate Judiciary, but there's no there's no guarantees that it will. Well, I, I'm I'm willing to let it go through its process, and then whatever whatever form it ends up in in, in final, we'll have it on the floor presumably, and, and I'll have to make a decision then. So you but haven't I, made. I really it. don't want. You know, I can't make a decision on something that I don't know what looks like, and it, it's an end product. But I take it from that that because I think your reputation is you're like a business conservative and the social issues you're just not as you're just not as tuned to as many conservatives are. I think that's a fair generalization. Um, so, but you're also running for office, and you're going to need the support of conservative Republicans as well as other people. And conservative Republicans, faith-based conservative Republicans, may well be upset with you if you don't support that measure. So you got a political, you're in a political box there on that. I sense you don't have great enthusiasm for it, but you also have political considerations. What are you going to do? I'm going to wait and see what the final bill is, Hoppy. 
Uh, it, it, it is, it's a tough decision. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly inclined to be supportive of it, but I've advanced a business agenda all the way through this, and I have a business community that's, that's worried. But, but like so many of the things that we deal with in this capital, there's so much misinformation flowing around so much misinformation and, and and so people grab onto that you ask well have you read the bill well no i haven't read the bill yet you know i'm, I'm just mad because somebody got me stirred up my inclination is to, is to support it but again i want to see what comes out of out of uh judiciary bill cole is with us senate president democratic uh, republican candidate for for governor uh, highways uh, trump's bill came out of committee yesterday which is a two billion dollar bond issue funded with uh, property tax increases not sure where that's going to go but what the contractors want senator is legislation to increase the dmv fees it's the gaunch bill senator gaunch's bill increase the dmv fees and raise the sales tax one half of one percent to a total of 6.5 percent to raise 200 some million dollars for roads you like that or don't like that well <laughs> The DMV fees were a pretty toxic, you know, subject <laughs> around this capital a few years ago. And let ago. me explain why, because the legislature went on record as supporting it, and the governor the governor said, let's do that, and the legislature supported it, and the governor vetoed it. So nobody's forgotten about that. Yeah, well, and also a lot of people, I, I believe, lost their seat over it, too. So, you know, we'll see. The the, the $2 billion, that's that's a that would be uh, on a ballot. That would be for the voters to decide. It, you know, it's, it's so easy to say, fix my roads. But then when it really comes down to, but now I'm going to have to take some money out of my pocket, it's going to cost me directly, then, then there, there sometimes is some pushback. So I, I think it's wonderful to let the voters decide. So you, you would, of, of those proposals, you'd be more inclined to support the bond issue? Well, I think so, but, but we're looking at all of them. I mean, Senator Gaunch, uh, he, is, he is a wonderful man, and he's taken, he's taken basically the Blue Ribbon Commission and, and added a little bit. So, you know, by the time that floats through committee, maybe, maybe some stuff gets amended out, others get amended in. There's no question that we have to continue to make uh, improvements in our infrastructure, and it isn't just our roads. It's, it's broadband. Yeah, let's it's, talk it's, about that. Which, it, which proposal do you like on broadband? There's a couple things floating around. One that seems to have the most momentum is a tax credit to our companies that would provide broadband up the hollow, I like to right. say, places that are remote and hard to reach. What is that? Is that what that bill does, and do you support that bill? Yeah, I do, uh, and, and I think that's a great one. You know, there were on, on the on the on the suggestion that, that the state would get involved in the in the middle mile and completion of that network. You know, what I'm hopeful is is that. Uh, is that private industry does that. I'm, I'm not a proponent of, of, of government being the answer to, to things like that. So if, but if the threat of the government getting involved drives the, the uh, private sector to finish out that middle mile, then I think we'll have done our job. That bill does nothing. It only allows for the legislature to take it up if they want Allow, to. On, you mean allows the, them to borrow money to get into that middle mile. Middle mile, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, I, frankly, I don't think that's going to that's gonna go anywhere. I think it's more inclined to tax credit to the companies. But that's government involvement. If Because now you're talking about the taxpayers subsidizing companies to build out a service to people. And I understand we need that service, but is it my responsibility to have somebody up the hollow have uh, internet, and that's I, you know. Uh, I guess I guess you could argue that about a lot of things that state government does, but but I think there are certain things that that we need to provide our citizens. We're in a rural state. We have rural issues, whether it's health care or or internet. So you access. see that as like roads. You see that as like infrastructure. It abs to me it is is it is surely it is as surely infrastructure as as any sewer or water. Or, or roadway that we have. Mm -hmm. and, and it's certainly tomorrow's infrastructure, but just the, the ramifications that it can have, not only in, in, in carrying our state into the, into the next generation of, of, of jobs, the, the ramifications in education, what we could do for our kids and, and to turn around our, 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 our terrible student achievement level, I think is, is phenomenal. Senator Bill Cole, he was a Senate President and Republican candidate for Governor, Republican Mercer County Senator. Good to see you. Uh, my pleasure. Thank right, you. Thanks a lot. We'll be back. More to come from the Capitol right after this.